What are the biggest obstacles when designing and developing websites are the browsers that we use to view them? Ensuring that your website displays and functions correctly across all of the major browsers can be a time-consuming and frustrating task. To make this debugging process easier, you do have several options available without having to splash out on extra computers. Now, I've spoken before about some of the free online rendering engines like BrowserShots.org and Geotech's NetRenderer. But our favorite is Adobe's recently updated Browser Labs service. So if you're not already familiar with Browser Labs, let's take a look and check out its new integration with Creative Suite 5. You can find Browser Labs at browserlab.adobe.com. And one of the common mistakes people think that Browser Lab is actually an application and go looking for it when they install Creative Suite in their Applications folder. But in fact, at the moment, it's an online service. Um, all you have to do to use Browser Labs is to sign in. If you haven't got a Adobe account, you can simply make one. So I'm just logging into my one. And this is the uh, Browser Labs dashboard here. You get like, the sort of latest news um, about Browser Labs, tips and advice. Um, really, there's only really three things to navigate through on Browser Labs. You have Home, like we're on now, Browser Sets. This is where you can define which web browsers you'd like to test your web pages in. You can create um, different groups like I have here. So, for example, this one I've got the sort of complete collection. And then this is my sort of personal collection. And you can essentially tick the pages that you, w the, sorry, the um, browsers that you wish to render your pages in. You can even change the order by uh, moving them around here. So this is the sort of the load order, load order of the pages. Now the one that you're going to be mainly using is this third button called test, and this is where you can actually render uh, screenshots of your web pages. So if I type in center here, an address to a website that I've recently made, and I can hit enter. And as you can see, Browse Labs is going to render a screenshot for me for uh, Firefox 3.0 for Windows and Internet Explorer 6 through 8. Because on my uh, on the Mac I'm working on, I've got uh, Safari and Firefox and so forth. It's really you know the problems I usually encounter are usually always on the uh, comp uh, the PC operating system. Uh, there's also a few useful features over here. If, for example, your homepage has uh, JavaScript or AJAX or things that may require a little delay, you can actually specify. Uh, in seconds how many uh, seconds delay there would be before it actually renders the page and over here you can zoom in and as you can see so far we've got a Firefox 3 rendered page so I can use this to uh, you know debug any problems on the page if I click the drop down arrow here you can see that uh, Internet Explorer 6 is still rendering but I've uh, got Internet Explorer 7 and 8 ready and I can uh, flip between them to test how my page is looking um, one useful thing that you can also do is do the two-up view, which shows um, pages side by side to each other, like this for, for comparison. And also what I find quite useful when uh, tidying up typography is using the onion skin mode. And the onion skin essentially layers two copies of the web page on top of each other. So if I use Internet Explorer 7 and perhaps Firefox version, you can see that the page lines up quite well but the actual typography, the line heights and padding are slightly different, so it's quite useful for uh, debugging that if you need to get it pixel perfect. So Browse Labs is a great free tool. Uh, at the moment it's just in its testing and beta stages, so it may become part of the, uh, it may become an application or it may be charged in the future, but take advantage of it now while you can. And in the latest release of Dreamweaver CS5, um, they've actually integrated Browser Labs so that you can uh, launch previews directly from Dreamweaver. Over on the right, uh, there's the Adobe Browser Lab tab. Um, if that isn't appearing on your uh, CS5, you can simply get it by going to Window and Properties. And there's also several other links. You can click the CS Live button here and drop down to Preview in Browser Lab. And also here, where usually you can preview in Safari and Firefox, you've now also got a link to Preview in Adobe Browser Lab. So, um, great free tool for testing uh, the web page how it renders on different. Uh, operating systems to the ones that you have. Thank you for watching this week's web design video blog. Please leave any questions or comments on our supporting blog post or on our YouTube channel.